really do feel like the capsule wardrobe method works. You can spend more on your basics and you're just kind of shopping less, but for better pieces. <laughs> Well, hello there and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Kira. I share videos on shopping for the best basics on the high street, how to build a capsule wardrobe and lots of other good stuff. So if that sounds good to you, then do hit subscribe because I would love to have you back for more videos. So in today's video, I'm doing a big roundup of all of the pieces that I have picked up for the coming spring season. Now, I feel like since implementing the capsule wardrobe method over the past few years, I definitely don't do as much shopping for the new season. I often and say this in these capsule wardrobe videos that when you start to build that foundation of your basics and your key pieces and you kind of refine your style a little bit more you find that you have less of a desire to go out and shop because you have like those good basics. So I feel like these hauls are kind of over the course of a few weeks or a few months. So without rambling on too much, let's get into the pieces that I've picked up. Everything that I mentioned will be linked right down in the description below. I'll also leave info on sizing or any discount codes that I can find. And if anything is sold out, I will leave similar items there as well. So these items are going to be from a mix of brands on the high street. And there are some new bag additions in there as well, which I think you guys will absolutely love. I'm so excited to show you. I'm gonna start off with H&M, which is definitely one of my favorites for like affordable high street and the first thing is this navy sweater again it's such a basic piece it's really really simple but I realized that I didn't have a navy jumper in my wardrobe and I was seeing a lot of images that I had pinned and saved on my Pinterest of like light denim wash jeans paired with a navy sweater with like a little white t-shirt or thrown over the shoulders of like a white t-shirt or a tank top I think it comes in some different colors so I'll link it below very soft very comfortable as well the other jumper that I picked up from H&M is this one here. It is this incredibly soft, cozy uh, jumper. It has really nice wider sleeves, which I really, really like, and kind of a boxy fit. I love a gray jumper. My Lily Silk Silk Cashmere Blend jumper is probably one of my favorites in my knitwear wardrobe. I wear it so, so much, but I wanted something that wasn't quite as fancy is that one that I could just throw on and I love that jumper so much I wear it all the time it's I think it was under 30 euro I will link it in the description below but it's so soft so comfortable I brought this one with me when I went to London and I wore it with my trench coats just like knotted over the shoulders just as an extra layer and it was so handy the piece I picked up from H&M is this button denim shirt and this was such a good buy it was under 20 euros and it is the perfect size I got this in a medium for a slightly more oversized fit and it's just such a great basic I've been wearing it to tucked into my River Island denim. I have a pair of straight leg River Island jeans, which are probably my most worn pair of jeans from last year. And they're the perfect denim match for this, even though they're from two different brands. They look so good together. I'll link those below as well. So I've been wearing this like tucked into that. I've also been wearing this shirt with my denim midi skirts. I have a couple from last season that I'm bringing out again this year that I love. If you're looking for a denim midi, I did link some in some previous videos, but I'll link one of my favorite ones. I think it's H&M in the description below as well. H&M for denim shirts right now is so good. Whether you want this colorway, which I personally love, they also have like the lighter blue wash. You can get the gray wash, which I think is fab. And it's just such a great basic. So I feel like this is probably one of my most worn items so far from the haul. So now I'm gonna move on to River Island and I picked up some amazing bits from them recently. The first thing I'm gonna show you are these barrel leg jeans. I'm just gonna put a picture here and a try on because holding them up, I feel like you can't really get an idea of the shape. This barrel leg style, I absolutely love. I think it's amazing especially for spring summer because they're really comfortable they've got that baggy fit which I love but the fact that they're tapered and cropped at the ankle means that they look really good with your summery footwear whether it's a sandal a Birkenstock a Mary Jane a ballet flat like a little um, Adidas Samba sneaker they just look really good and they're not too much fabric at the feet nice in spring we want it a little bit lighter and we want to show off our ankles a little bit more so I feel like these are so perfect such a good price as well and um, they're around 50 euro and they also come in black and I actually think I want the black colorway as well but this blue denim is chef's kiss I love it so much picked up a few new pairs of jeans from River Island as part of a feature that I did with them a few videos ago on their denim I feel like River Island does some of the best denim on the high street especially for the price I have some pairs in my wardrobe for the past couple of years that I have worn to death especially their straight leg jeans which I have honestly in I think five washes at this stage but I actually got them in the gray wash recently and they're gorgeous I also got the matching gray 
grey denim shirt. I'll link them both here. They're so nice and together as a set, I just loved them. I wore them with these glasses, some gold jewellery and like the buttoned up grey denim shirt and I just think it's so cool with a pair of sambas. Perfect for this time of year. I also picked up this gorgeous striped cardigan and you may remember from last year, I had a few of these that I picked up on Marks and Spencer in the cream colorway and the black colorway and I got so much wear out of them. So I wanted to get a nice lighter stripier version for spring because again I just feel like this print and color just screams springtime and I think this is so so cute. I also picked up this gorgeous wool trench coat from River Island which I'm going to pop here. It's so beautiful. It's definitely heavier than your typical spring trench coat but sometimes at this time of the year that's kind of what I want. I want something that doesn't look as wintry but is still really warm because even right now it's still pretty cold out. So if you're looking for something similar I feel like River Island's coats are always very well priced for their quality and this one is gorgeous. A pair of shoes I picked up on River Island are these gorgeous little Mary Jane flats. I have a pair of ballet flats from Marks and Spencer that I honestly never shut up about. I love them so much but I wanted something that was patent and in a Mary Jane style and these were just so perfect. They're actually really comfortable, no breaking in required and I think they came in at under 50 euro as well which I feel like is a very good price. I do have a few bags to show you in this video but I'm going to show you this River Island one just before I move on from them and it is this gorgeous raffia clutch. Sometimes I feel like I overlook high street bags in favor of my mid-range brands like Coach and Demelier and things like that but actually there are some amazing ones on the high street right now and I feel like this one is such a good price for a really nice summer bag. For something like this that is a raffia style I wouldn't want to spend too much on it and I feel like this is such a good price for it. So I would wear this right now with my denims, my tailored trousers and kind of more springtime looks. I feel like the raffia adds this little dose of something different especially after winter. I actually wore this bag last week to the Arnott Spring Summer Fashion Show and it was perfect but then this is perfect in the high summer as well when you're wearing it with your real summery stuff, your crochet, your like linen pieces. So I do think bags like this are lovely to style in early spring because it gives you like a dose of like summer vibes while styling it with your denims, your trainers but then you can obviously wear it in high summer as well so it's a kind of a good all-rounder. So that is everything from H&M and River Island but I'm going to show you another pair of boots that I picked up and you might be asking Kira why are knee-high riding boots being featured in a spring video? Honestly sometimes I buy things off season and the reason why is because these were completely sold out for so long during autumn winter so I just snapped them up when I could and I know that I'm going to wear these so so much in the colder months but to be fair it's still weather for knee-high boots especially if you're doing kind of a bare leg so I'm not packing these away just yet. I'm determined to get a good few wears out of them before they get packed away for like the high kind of summer spring season but I wanted to feature them in this because I feel like I had talked on my socials about looking for the perfect riding boot and a lot of you guys were invested so these ones are from And Other Stories. I actually did buy an Arquette pair which I really liked but I ended up returning them because they were a little bit chunkier than I wanted whereas these are slimmer on the leg and they really give that riding boot style which was what I wanted. So these next two pairs of shoes I picked up I want to say in like early February so they're definitely off season given that I bought them in winter but these are two pairs of summer sandals from Fit Flop and they are so gorgeous. I know Fit Flop isn't exactly a brand that you would associate with like really trendy footwear but actually they have this collection it's their F mode range and they're the most beautiful chic leather sandals. They're so comfortable. So they're just really, really well made. And I'm such a stickler for sandals. I have to have them be very comfortable. So I wanted to pick up some new pairs and these are so perfect. They're very minimal, kind of like the row energy. They just have that little strap here, this nice thick leather strap, and then a little bit of height. And they're just so chic. And they were such a good price. I think I had a 15% code, but they were already down from I think 200 to like 60 so they were such a good buy. I will link them below. I'm sure some of the styles are still available. This is the other pair. They're kind of like a crisscross wrap style and guys these are so comfortable. They're like walking on a cloud. Have that slightly elevated footbed. This cushioning here is a dream. It's so so nice and even though I knew I wasn't going to be wearing them for months 
These will be so great to have in the summer. Very excited to start wearing them. The last pair of shoes I'm gonna show you are my Adidas Samba trainers. And I actually can't believe that I only picked these up in the last couple of weeks. I think it was last month that I got them because I have been living in them. And I don't know why I held out for so long. They are such a handy trainer to have, especially the fact that they're kind of slimmer on the foot, I think is so flattering. They actually weirdly go with so much. I've been wearing them with tailored trousers, with jeans, midi skirts, denim skirts, satin skirts. It's like they just look so good. I have a feeling that in the summer they're going to be great with summer dresses. I know a few of you guys have requested that I do a video styling Adidas Sambas so if you want to see that just let me know in the comments and I will film it for you guys. Before I move on to the last two bags that I picked up I'm going to show you some jewelry that I picked up from Monica Vinader. They have such nice packaging. They're so pretty. I got these. Um, I can't remember what they're called. I will link them on screen. They're these like chunky silver earrings and they have this like swoop. I'm going to put a picture in because it's kind of hard to see. They're so nice on they kind of swoop around your lobe and then I also got this silver beautiful chain again I'll put this on screen I wanted to include a few pieces of silver jewelry it's part of the whole mixing metals that we're seeing so much of now so what I wanted to do is to pick up one or two pieces of really good quality silver jewelry that I could kind of mix and match with what I already have and I feel like these are perfect I've been wearing them so much the last two items I have in this haul to show you are two handbags and they're both from mid-range brands that I know and love and have purchased from before so the first one that I'm going to show you it's been on my wish list for quite a while and it is the stunning Pollen Seam Tote. This is just the most beautiful tote. It's in their cognac color. So they have their classic tan color, which is really, really lovely. But actually, I love the richness of this cognac. It's almost like a brown as opposed to a tan. So beautiful. And guys, if you know Pollen, you know the quality is 10 out of 10. I also think they're so well priced. You can fold in the sides of this bag to make it kind of a little bit more compact. And then you have your smaller straps and then your larger straps here. And the color is very much a color that I wanted to incorporate more for spring. I have quite a lot of black bags and I love them. Black goes with everything. But I wanted to pick up one or two bags uh, in like a tan brown in warmer colors that I could style for the warmer months. And this one I just think is such a good find. The seam bag was out of stock on Pullen for quite a while, but I believe it is fully back in stock now. So I will link it below. It also has this really handy pouch that comes with it, which I think is so nice when you buy bags like this, you get this additional like remove movable zipper pouch which is like an extra bag in itself it's so nice I'm going to use it for a couple of weeks a couple of months and then I'll come back with a bit of an overview on my thoughts and how it's wearing and what I can fit in it and what I'm using it for already I think this is going to be a great summer tote um, I have my black Demelier New York tote that I love I use it for travel all the time but I think in the summertime this will be a great option in that it kind of could be used as your kind of travel tote in the airport and then when you're kind of pottering around on your holidays as well the next bag I'm going to show you has been on my wish list for such a long time and I'm so excited that it is finally in my possession. Probably going to be one of my most worn bags for spring summer I can already tell and it is the Demelier New York in the midi size in the tan grain finish. Demelier is a brand that I absolutely adore. I have quite a few of their bags already and I feel like their price versus their quality is just so fair. Their designs are 10 out of 10 and I just use them so 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 much in my day-to-day -day life. The midi size of the New York is one that I did not have so I have the larger New York tote. I actually have a full review video on it, which I'll pop in here if you want to see it. And I was so keen to try out the midi size, especially because it means I can do a proper compare and contrast for you guys. But also I just feel like the midi size is perfect as an everyday bag. So the great thing about this is that it is a crossbody as well, which the larger New York bag is not. To be honest with you though, I don't think I'll be wearing this as a crossbody very much. I bought this to wear as like a really chic kind of crook of the arm bag. To me, I feel like the midi New York, especially in this tan grain color, I think this color is just perfect for spring summer. And also I think this contrast detail on the stitching is so premium looking. You can see it's just one big chamber, but then you have your slot pocket in here and then you have a zipper compartment here as well which is really really handy and then you have your straps here that you can attach your crossbody strap on but you could attach um you know your pouches and things like that to the inside of the bag as well if you wanted but it's just such a beauty. I love this so much and I'm so excited to wear it, honestly, to wear it to death. I will be back with a full review, um, kind of overview video and looking at what fits and how I use it and how I style it. Over the next few weeks and months, I'm just gonna wait a little bit of time so I can properly get to grips with it. But so far, I'm just 
loving it. I love it so, so much. So there you have it, guys. That is an overview of everything that I've picked up for spring so far. I'm so happy with all my purchases and I just cannot wait to style them over the next few weeks and months. As always, everything that I mentioned will be linked right down in the description below. And if you have not already, you can subscribe to my channel. I post new videos every single week and I would love to have you back for more. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.